war against Iran. Free the Iranian students. No to war against Iran. This is a letter that we're sending to the, to the government of Iran. President Ahmadinejad and Ayatollah Khomeini, we are writing to demand the immediate release of all members of the group Azadi Barabari, Students for Freedom and Equality, currently held by the government of Iran. Charges against these students must be dropped. They have committed no crime but to engage in legitimate protests against war plans of the United States and the policies of your government. The freed students must be given the right to demonstrate and voice their political opinions openly on campuses. A list of the names of those students addressed is included below. These students are not affiliated with our organization, but we, along with students and workers all over the world, are following their treatment carefully. We will continue to follow and publicize their cases until they are freed and their unjust persecution ends. In a statement published by the International Students for Social Equality in April this year following our emergency conference against war, we titled the statement, End the Occupation of Iraq, No to, no to War Against Iran for an International so Socialist Movement Against War. We said the following in that statement. Humanity is threatened with the eruption of violence on a global scale not seen since the bloodiest days of the First and Second World Wars. The global ambitions of the United States represent no less a danger to peace than those of imperialist Germany in the first half of the 20th century. American imperialism, we wrote, is not the only culprit of the growth of militarism. The ruling elites of the different countries have sought to pursue their own interests through military force. All the major capitalist powers have either supported or facilitated the invasion of Iraq. To the extent that opposition to American policy has emerged in these quarters, it's because they have their own interests to defend, including in the Middle East. In economically less developed countries, such as Iran, China, and India, the ruling elites have their own interests and ambitions that are completely antagonistic to the interests of the working class. have nothing to do with principled opposition to imperialism. Opposition to wars against these countries in no way implies support for their governments or the capitalist interests that these governments represent. My name is Andre Damon. Uh, I am a student at the University of Delaware, which is on the east coast of the United States. I attended the demonstration today uh, in solidarity with the Iranian students and uh, because I agree with the perspective of the ISSC, uh, which is that the only way to fight for, on a principled basis for democratic rights and against war is on the basis of internationalism and on the basis of a turn to the working class. Uh, the perspective of, of the ISSC is that students and workers must unite against the must unite on, on the basis of an understanding of their history and on, on the basis of an objective analysis of political events and from this basis uh, form a movement against war, uh, against imperialism and for democratic rights and, ultimately, and for social equality. Um, in terms of you know, why is it, for instance, that, that we say that the, the interests of, of Iranian students and of students and workers in the, in the United States are somehow linked. Well, in terms of you know, the, the actual economic, uh, the economic basis of daily life in the United States, you know, workers and students in, in the U.S. have huge amounts of debt, uh, you know, while, relatively, while incomes are relatively high compared to the rest of the world, so are our costs of living, and in fact, over the course of, of previous decades, uh, wages have been stagnant and falling in the United States, while co you know, costs of living have, have been increasing. Uh, real wages, uh, re median real wages, have, have fallen, in fact, since 2000, and will fall even further uh, if, if and when the, the oncoming U.S. recession occurs. Um, and furthermore, there is a, a massive indebtedness in, in, of both workers and students and the general population in the United States 
students have to borrow, in some cases, 10, 20, 30, or $50,000 a year just to pay for tuition, for expenses, and housing. Uh, they have to borrow at very high rates and with essentially loan shark provisions, uh, which they can't get out of through bankruptcy. Uh, and economically, uh, students face very harsh realities, in, in, in which case they'll have to work for 20, 10, 20, or 30, or even longer years just to pay off their student loans. And of, co of course, Given uh, together with that, there is the problem that affects all of humanity and, a, and all, all students, workers, and all, uh, people all over the world in every nation, which is the problem of, of imperialism and militarism, which confronts the humanity with destruction. And the only way to fight against these things is, is, is on the basis of, of an international program and of an international movement, which the, the ISSC is fighting to build. Uh, and the, the, the solutions to none of these problems uh, can be attained just simply on the basis of a, of a national basis or even just on a student basis. Students have to turn to the working class and turn to the international working class. And that is the perspective that the ISSC fights for. Um, so I hope that the demonstration that we had here today will be the first step uh, in developing that perspective and developing the international student movement and ultimately uh, will be a step in the, the development of ISSC branches and socialist equality branches uh, in Iran and all over the world.